Why can't things be free? Then we can indulge in anything. Infinite amount of fishes, water, and cars, and vacations. Well, resources are finite. We only have this much of water, this much of land, this many working age people. That's it. Nothing more. With this much of land, labor, and capital, we want to produce bread. Oops! That's 500 bread. Let's plot this on a graph. But people prefer tablets nowadays. Okay, produce tablets then. 50 tablets. Mm, maybe it's good to have some bread. To produce 50 tablets, we gave up 500 bread. To produce one tablet, the opportunity cost is 10 bread. 10 tablets, 100 bread. Ten tablets and four hundred bread produced. Want ten more tablets? Please give up hundred more bread. And so on. This is the production possibility curve or frontier. Hey, that's an inverse relationship. As you produce more tablets, you produce less bread. Nothing is free. To produce 10 more tablets, does it mean that we have to give up 100 bread every single time? People have different skills. Land have different soils. Machines don't make the same things. Resources are not uniform. This model is not realistic. It should be a concave curve. Why? Initially, to produce tablets, you want to choose people great at making tablets. Those with engineering PhDs. A few of them would suffice, since they are so efficient. What about 10 more tablets? Get people with Masters of Engineering. Um, they're just not that good. We need more of them. And from now on, the people you get are less and less capable at making tablets. You'll get to a point where you have people who totally suck at producing tablets in the production line. Utterly inefficient. So, as you produce more and more tablets, you give up more and more and more bread. This is the law of increasing opportunity cost. You see, for every subsequent batch of tablets you produce, you give up more and more bread. Understand why the production possibility curve is concave now? <laughs>